Okay, for this art project, we just finished looking at Romero Brito's winged heart. So we are going to use the following art supplies. We need a Sharpie or a black marker, pencil if you'd like, temper cakes, paint or watercolors, water brush, and oil pastels. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna write your name and class code on the back in pencil and then turn it over and that becomes the back. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we are filling up our paper, making a nice big winged heart. We don't want it to be little and we don't want it to be too big, but we want it to be able to fit nicely in here. So the first thing we're gonna do is find the middle. So take your finger, go across, find about the middle, come down. And we're gonna make just a little V. And that's gonna be the bottom of our sharp, of our Brito heart. Now you're going to take this all the way up, make a loop and then match the other side. Now we have our heart. And something different that Romero Brito does that you notice is that he added wings to his heart so it could fly. And when we look at Romero Brito's heart, he has three parts of the wings. So I'm just gonna practice drawing them with my finger so that I can get a good idea of the size so that I'm not running off the paper and I'm not making them too small. I'm gonna practice with my finger first. Then when I'm ready, find your point, at the top of this heart right here. Put your Sharpie or marker right there. And then we're going to make a curved line like that. Another one here, and another one here. I'll draw this like that. And now we're gonna copy it over here. It's okay if it's not exactly the same, but we just wanna make sure we have three and that they're about the same size. So we're gonna find our middle point at the top of the heart. I'm gonna make one, two, three, connect that. So these are not exactly the same, but that's okay. It's fine if they're not exactly the same, as long as they have two wings. And then of course, one of the styles of Romero Brito is that he has sections in his art. So we're gonna just go ahead and put some lines in each of these sections some in the wings, maybe one like this, maybe one like that. And then we're gonna put some in the heart too. So I'm gonna put a diagonal line, another diagonal line, and maybe one right here. So you're gonna make different sections. I'm done with the Sharpie. Now I'm gonna choose from my oil pastels and the reason why we're gonna use oil pastels is because we want the oil to resist our paint. It gets a nice texture effect with bright colors. So looking at the roll a masterpiece sheet of paper, You can either roll the dice and play a game finding your patterns, or you can just have it to the side. So I don't actually have a dice, but I am going to kind of scan through here, and I really like how he has hearts. So I'm gonna choose a section. A section is enclosed by these lines, and I'm going to make a pattern of hearts that repeat, repeat, repeat. I 
think I'm gonna go in here, some pink. So you're gonna go ahead and look at this sheet and create patterns that repeat with bright colors in each of the sections. So you go ahead and make your own patterns. You can leave some of them empty or you can color some in. And once you fill up all of your heart with patterns and oil pastels, we're gonna swish, swish, dab, dab. And I'm going to twirl my brush. The longer I twirl, the more paint is gonna load up on the brush. And then I'm gonna start adding color to each section. When I'm done with the color, I swish, swish, dab, dab. Remember, our paintbrushes are too cool for tapping. They only dab. I'm gonna twirl, twirl, twirl in a new color. And I'm going to paint in another section and you can see how the oil pastels are resisting the paint and so that we can see it through. So go ahead and finish filling it up with oil pastels and then adding paint. And then when that's all done, you're gonna add one color to the background.